Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows up. Everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others, others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 386, Nasdaq's off 78, SPs are down 38, gold, gold contract up $1.60, trade to the price point of 17.2250. We have silver up 15 cents, $20.70 an ounce, light sweet crude. Up 72 cents, $88.49 cents a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note down 17 ticks, trading at a price point of uh, 111.31. The 30 year down 15 at 126.10. You get the 10 year right now yielding 3.82, folks. The high has been 3.94, so this thing's going topside once again. And King Dollar, King Dollar's going topside also. King Dollar is up 1,052 ticks, trading at a price point of 112,261. The euro is at 97, the yen's at 145, and the British pound is at 111 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Well, what we have out here, you know, which I said in the update, um, is that you have the, the SPY actually um, weaker than the NDX 100 today. So bottom line, you're going to have a failure in price and volume. Jobs numbers coming out tomorrow. We're in an ABC structure down. It's comp. Well, it's, it's a different C point now, but the bottom line is that this thing's going right after its lows, man. So we're at 373. You know, if we look back on Tuesday, uh, you had done 103 million shares. Yesterday we did 88. Didn't hold the high. We'll see whether it can get to 88 today. It doesn't. It's going to be close. You could you can get to 88, but I suspect you're not going to hold highs. You know, well, we're down three dollars and ninety cents right now. If we go to the NDX, you'll see that the NDX is a little bit stronger. Well, yeah, let me, I'm going to go back to the futures. Let's go back because you can see it in the E-mini futures. That's what's going on. So if we take a look at the E-minis, what you're going to see here, bang, bull us out. You know, your benchmark here was the low that was established this morning at 10.30. You can see that low, that's 37.58. Well, we broke it, and we broke it in the E-minis, the e and that's a high-volume low, so it's going to go back to 37.50. We're at 57 right now. More, we can see the close coming right into actually two days ago, so we'll see how this shakes out. But um, now keep your eye on that, meaning the, the 37.65, well, 10.30 in the morning, and I'll show you what the difference is where you're going to see it. If we bring up the NQs, the NQs, are trying to break it. That's what they're doing right now. They've come down there a few times, haven't have enough juice to break it. You know, we take a look at it, you can see right here, we're talking about that low has uh, 20,000 contracts. The last time we came down, you came down with only 12.9. Now that being said, what has happened is this. This has been happening all day. It doesn't have enough to blow this out at this particular point. This is building cause. We've had 20 minutes of cause right now. We'll see what happens coming into the close. Because what you can see is every one of these downdrafts, that's where the, you know, it spike is up a little, not a lot. It's not a lot, you know, but I suspect because, then this is what gets cool, folks. Because the SPY and the S&Ps and E-minis already broke it, your probability goes much higher that the NDX is going to break it also. You know, that's, that's just how it moves, man. Particularly because of the, the NDX has been continually much weaker. So when you see an anomaly like this, okay, when I say much weaker, and I'm talking about, you know, going back for quite some time now, too. When you see the anomaly, bottom line, that's all it is, an anomaly, and when it comes in, bang. I mean, it's going to hit when it comes in. We go to the gold contract. We look at the gold contract. Well, we have a gold out here. Gold hit a low out here today of, uh, where are you? We hit a low of 1714. You're at 1721. You know, this is acting good. This is particularly acting good because of the uh, dollar. You know, we'll see what it can hang. It's, it's hanging here right now. Uh, notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market and uh, bottom line, they also want lower price. You know, this is going to be pretty intriguing watching this whole thing shake out. You can see 
the 10 year, if you want to see his sell, look at it, look at that spike, man, uh, 10 minutes ago. 60,000 contracts is going into the swing low of 25,000. You get a monster seller right there. This, this, yeah, it's a monster seller. If we go back into the dollar, we take a look at the dollar, the way the dollar is set up is that, you know, what you just did out here today, you're showing today, once again, you know, let me just pull this. You know, we came down hard in the dollar. You bounced around yesterday, but today, again, you broke the downtrend right from the high, from the uh, 114.78, you know? So the bottom line is that this, is, this one here is about a 7.8 a to B, which is gonna get you into the 117, 118. And then if you do take a look at it, you gotta remember, <laughs> there's only one swing point. Well, there's two swing points left. There's, there's one at 121. If, if we ever goes to the other one, it'd be insane. So the, the, there's the one at 121, and there's nothing in between it. So I suspect more than likely what we're going to see is that you're going to probably get an ABC up, you know. Well, first off, we'll see what happens at the high. The bottom line, if you run into that high, if you do have a wide price spread coming into that high, that's saying, guess what? That thing's going to 121. If that's going to 121, man, you better get out of the way. Because that, <laughs> that is going to um, no doubt put huge amounts of pressure right across the world. You know, and if you want to see, this, this is here, you know, let me show you this. Because what is happening now is that when none of us were really around, um, well, some of us might have been around. Larry was around probably, for sure. But I'm going to bring this back 50 years. And... Look at this spike. That was the spike in, well, we were around, but it wasn't, 164 and the dollar, well, yeah, no, I was around, in 1985. I just don't remember that. That's the bottom line. Um, you know, <laughs> I can't picture it hitting there, but hey, you never know, man. I mean, it really depends on how you come into 121. That's how this thing is being set up right now. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 373. The Nasdaq's off 76. S&P's off 37. Stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back.